Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a single table which is this one from the multiple tables which is present over here right so the way it is that uh, we want to move all of these columns into the rows but we want to also categorize or want to understand uh, whether it is the first second third or which column it is right based on the values which is given here so this is a more of a power query related video right where we can go in and power query and transform this data and create the one single table which is useful for us okay so to do that what do i do is i'll go into my new scenario come on okay all right let me see okay so here i am in my new workbook also, if you want to access all of my 300 plus videos uh, in easy to find manner, which is present over here, let me see if it allows me. Yep. So you can go in and this link is present in the description. You can get the, uh, you know, access to all of my videos in an easy to search manner. So video title is present here. Link is present here. Search and jump onto that video. So bookmark it so that you can reference it whenever you need it for any of the projects that I have explained. Okay. So let me come over here and uh, let me go into the get data text CSV and uh, over here I have the scenario number five which is a very simple data as you can see you can easily replicate it for your needs. So the way I will do it is I have the ID date one two three and so on and so forth. So I will simply go ahead and transform the data and uh, within the transformation uh, what do we need is basically two step process. The step number one is we will select, hold down this shift key, select the first column, hold down the shift key and then select this column to select all the columns. I will right click and I will say unpivot columns, right? Now what do I have is this value. So what, what can I do is I will right click copy and I will then right click over here, replace values. Okay. So then it will ask me value to find which I copied this and I will replace it with what one right so that it is easily identifiable same way I will repeat the process okay so you can skip this part if, if you got it uh, but whole idea is that uh, we basically categorize it in based on the requirements or easy to understand requirement if this is what you need last update one two three then you can do that but we can give the column name to last update, right? And uh, get the desired output. So in this case, uh, I have not, I think, copied it. Control V. I will simply say three, two, three, and click OK. And uh, this one, latest updated, that will be zero. That means the first one. So replace value paste it and call it zero zero will indicate that you need you have the latest value over here right so that is something which you can see even from the data itself that is first january 2024 uh, third update was uh, the oldest update was the somewhere in november then in december then in january uh, sorry uh, 17 december then the latest one in zero so whenever you need a latest record you will filter it by zero so that is a very common requirement when you are working in a data which in which you need to preserve a lot of change right so you will simply go ahead and click ok and then you can get the desired output as per your need so let's see this and uh, over here in a table i will simply say uh, id attribute value right so our date is coming so our date should move to date proper date so that way you have the output as per our need right so you have the id and the id i will simply say that do not aggregate do not summarize yeah okay so we got the id properly attribute and the one value so we have the four value for each of the one then somebody will say that okay we want the last update so you will select one we want the second last update, third last update. So that way you can actually see 
the movement of the change that has happened in your data on various dates. So if this is a scenario you were looking for where you wanted to understand how you can basically model out the dates uh, and basically track these changes in an easy to understand manner, well, that's your video and go ahead and utilize it in your logic with that. Thank you so much and meet in the new video with the new topic.